Mikhail Amayer is going to meet Maeva Hamadush. And Mikhail Amayer is an undefeated fighter. She is riding a score of 15 0. With back to back wins over Helen Joseph, Eva Brudnitska, Erika Farias, Lisbeth Crespo, Jarrell Larios, Calista Salgado, and many other fighters. She is a former WBC and ABF uh, female super featherweight title owner. She defended WBO uh, female super featherweight title. She is going to defend it against Erika Farias. And uh, I have to say that. Uh, this girl will be looking to defend her title again. She was having great performances against Brudnitska, also Joseph. And uh, I have to say that her skills definitely rock. Tactical aspect. She is running around the circles. I kind of like to say that she fights like a Cuban. Also, she is uh, a bronze medalist at the World Championships. 5 foot 9, 66.5 inches is her age. Maeva Hamadush on the other side, she's a combo breaker, 18 KOs. 5 foot 4, 64 inches is her age. But this time Maeva Hamadush is gonna have a hard time because her opponent is having 2.5 inches reach advantage. Maeva destroyed Nina Pavlovich, Janet Perez, Viviana Benuf, Gabriela Meze, Miriam Delal, Milena Kolova, and uh, she is a world female super better title owner. And now she'll be looking to extend her title, try to become World Boxing Organization World Female Super Fetter title owner too. And uh, this is going to be entertaining, but uh, Michaela Meyer fought, well, I can say more powerful competition. We got to finish her versus, versus a tactical fighter. So unless Maeva Hamadesh finishes her within the first five or six rounds, that's going to be an advantage for Mikaela Meyer, but Maeva is a very, very dangerous fighter. She destroyed Nina Pavlovich in like round six, round seven, round five. She was so brutally dominant, so I kind of have a feeling over 8.5 sounds like a good pick here because I believe Mikaela Meyer can survive the onslaught and win via decision, but I'm going to go with over 8.5 because kind of a bit scary for me to pick a side here.